Nice, got it. Easy. Easy peasy. Let's go. N is defeated. <sighs> okay. Here we go. Let's give her a go. Come on, baby. Let's go. Stealth Rock. Bolt switches right away. That did a lot of damage. Got him up. Okay, Volt Switch will kill from here. So, I think we switch into ground beef. <laughs> and then from there into tamale. To seize a kill with Volt Switch. Nice, okay. Now it's going to want to use, real quick, uh, what is this thing called? Real. It should be the same damage no matter what. Aerial Ace is the thing to use. I think. It's got Crook Attack as the other one. Right? Yeah, Pursuit, Crook Attack, Volt Switch, and Aerial Ace is what both of these have. It's going to want to Aerial Ace. That does the most damage. I think that's probably the best setup for our, uh... Oops. No, not what I want to do. Pokemon. I mean, it could be... Turtle Soup. Problem is, is I don't think he can live a Volt Switch after that. Not gonna be very useful if he can't live a Volt Switch after that. Um... I think it's probably just tamales, and I think we're probably already going to have to sack someone. Is basically where I'm kind of sort of landing on this. Um, so we're going to switch into tamales. And just kind of go for it. See how much it does. Ooh, nice. Now it has no static. That's nice. Uh, so let's see. That did nine damage. Holy cow, that was great. Um, let's nightshade. Always, um, almost forgot. Volt switch should be pretty good for us here, I think. Thirty-seven. So was it thirty? Twenty-eight. So that was seventeen. Seventeen. Because of those stone, those stones dig in. And so now, with Nightshade, this should kill? This should not kill. Nice. I don't know if Mummy stays after switches. Not sure about that. Okay, switches to the other Emolga. Get one Nightshade in. Okay, now we get the Zipstrika. Nice. Should be nice to get some damage in here. Okay. And it's going to want to Volt Switch again, and so we ground beef. It could potentially use Flame Charge, which wouldn't be great. Okay, nice, perfect. Now we dig. Should be able to get it. Should kill. Got him. Now here's the question. Okay, Aerial Ace can do... Hold on. 
I'm at 72. I'm at 65. Aerial Ace crit kills. Whew. I don't think I want to risk that. So I think we switch to Turtle Soup, which will bait an electric move, which then we switch to Candy Floss. Maybe we get down a Poison Powder? We'll see. We'll see how that goes. Okay, Pursuit's not great, but that's fine. Okay, I think he's able to survive one. So I think we might actually want to use a move here. Let's find out. Okay, just kidding. Volt Switch does like 100 damage. Um, 100%. Electric is not good against grass, though. Also, it doesn't affect ground. Uh, which is not great. So we're going to switch into Candy Floss. Um, I've been using Cover because I've been, it's been better to have a sturdy guy. Also, having the water is nice. Good defense, good attack. I get a priority move, so I've liked it because the defiant ability out of a uh, frickin' the, the bird, the pterodactyl is very bad. <laughs> is basically where I've kind of landed. I've been doing, yeah, I've been doing Cover. Yeah, Aerial Ace does a lot of damage. I think it's probably just got to sacrifice your mask at this point. I don't think I have, like, a good enough switch in, and I'm basically just kind of delaying the inevitable. Because I'm at 75, and so Aerial Ace is a range to kill. So I think we got to go sacrifice here. Sack tamales, get cabbage in. Shift. Okay. Tamales. You are an appreciated member of this team. And we get rid of static. That's great, actually. Ha ha. Oh, what am I saying? Uh, hold on, let me answer your stuff in chat. I thought you'd cover, plus he can't learn fly. He can't learn fly, but he can learn acrobatics. Acrobatics can be pretty good, especially with that ability. It's just like a huge damage if you don't have an item on it. Um, so that's a thing to know uh, for your playthrough. And nice, this is actually the first time I've fully played through Black. Obviously, it's attempt number five of that, but I've never played Pokemon Black before this, um, which is kind of neat. So, um, Axew is allowed. Axew is allowed. Okay, let me really quick just check if Cabbage can kill this. C A B B A G E. Cabbage. Rubbish? I think this can kill. Acid Spray is probably the one to use. Considering I don't think the other thing kills it. Okay, so we give it one Acid Spray. Yeah, Volt Switch does 40. Okay, it's either gonna heal. Uh-oh, I probably should've used the other move, I don't know. If oh wait, no, this should kill, as long as I don't get crit. Come on. Yes, Cabbage! Cabbage! That's... Four gym badges, boys. Let's go. Let's go. Badges. Bolt. We've done it. Yeah, no problem. I am... If I gave myself, like, a grade, a B plus is probably around where I would be at. There's people that do this full-time, and I'm just a person that's been playing this since I was, like... Six. <laughs> so, Pokemon. Um, 
right now on black, I'm trying to get an entire team except for an Emboar that is level 60 to level 60 for the, the Elite Four. That is a grind, my friend. Hopefully for the last time indeed, that is a almost deathless <laughs> Elsa. Tamales, actually I'll salute you when I send you to Valhalla. So let's go, but yeah, let's go, here we go. Um, we got a rival fight with Charon, but we should be very well equipped for that. And save. Okay, so we're gonna review. We got Charon here coming up. So we lead with Popeyes, uh, because one, he leads with Leapard, and that's like basically a complete wall for it, um, who has Eviolite on it to increase defenses. The reason that we have him first as well, and then Turtle Soup second, is because right after the rival battle, we have a double battle of two Herdiers, um, uh, that, like right afterwards. And so we want to lead with something that's fighting so it can take down those Herdiers, and then we want something that's super defensive so that we can uh, not die in one hit. That'd be super cool. Um, also, Escargo is our switch in, just in case, uh, because it has Sturdy, so that's the play. Um, Candy Floss in the back here for the Dewat. Baconator for the Pansier and Tranquil. For the Pansier and the Tranquil as well. Also, he has a Chesto Berry on it. And so I think... Um, I think we are ready to go. So, let's face Jared. Here we go. How many subscribers until you play Tears of the Kingdom again? Until I play Tears of the Kingdom poorly again. Um, <laughs> I have no idea. Uh, probably not um, any. <laughs> Mostly because uh, I don't know if that content is going to do as well on this channel. Maybe one day, but a lot of things might have to happen before that. But I might every once in a while just to like switch it up. Depends on how if I... If and how... If and how? If and when I can get a, you know, new stream in, new new stream in, like a long stream in. Holy cow, my brain. Anyway, so we knew it was gonna get the fake out. So that's your one hit kill. If I had to guess it's probably gonna switch into Tranquil next. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's got Air Cutter Roost Detect, and so I think we just switch into uh, Turtle Soup here. We don't want to switch into the bug because uh, flying is neutral against it. So we're going to switch into this guy, and there's Ancient Power. It'd be really cool if we could get a uh, Omni Boost. Let's go. Oh, I'll take an Oko. That's fine, too. Okay, we got Duat. The question is, do we do some damage first? I think we probably just switch. Um, just to make sure. Whoops, wrong one. Honors bad against grass and dragon. Okay, we are all good to go then. Wonk. Wait, this one? This one. I can't remember which screens I have. I know. Sad day, Thomas. I'm sorry. <laughs> also, hi! Happy Friday. Welcome to the stream today. Okay, so we're just going to switch into Candy Floss. And I think we lower its speed first. Remember, this thing's got Prankster. He's a, he's a baddie, okay? Um, so we got Cotton Spore, so we lower its speed first. Should basically guarantee that we outspeed. Nice. No confusion, also based. Um, we're gonna Giga Drain. Okay, that should get Citrus Berry range, yeah? Okay. So I think I'm gonna poison it. And what that'll do, hopefully... No confusion, nice. So I'm gonna poison it. 
Hopefully it hits, yep. And then what that should do is that should get it down just enough to protect us from um, uh, like getting it like on one HP and then it's just being in torrent. Ooh, that was a crit. And I got confused. Neat. So that's a problem. Um, it's gonna use water pulse, so I think we switch into turtle soup. Um, which is probably our best bet at this point. Maybe cabbage? What has it got left? It's got pants here. <laughs> Who's got the most special defense here? Um, 43. Not him. Not him. 56. And an Eviolite. So it might be actually Popeyes. Popeyes and then Cabbage is, I think, the order of events here. So I think we're just going to switch back into Popeyes. That was a good crit in frickin' uh, crit and confusion, my god. Of course, it switches to the physically defensive one. Okay. But now we should be able to uh, Brick Break. This will either kill or get it low enough where it is going to die from poison. Nice! Sounds good. See you in a bit, Thomas. Happy Friday if I don't see you. Okay, now we got Pants here. Um, I'm not gonna lie, this thing only has Flame Burst against us. However, uh, I think we just probably switched to Turtle Soup and see how it goes. Because <laughs> remember, we got um, Aqua Jet. Nice. And with that, we probably win, because we got Aqua Jet. Flame Burst isn't going to do that much damage. Fury Swipes is never going to do that much damage. Okay, we got it. And that's Charon down. Nice crit, but it doesn't matter. Let's go. First battle of the day. Easy peasy. Now we do get a heal before the double battle from hell. Just so we're all on the same page. These things, these children are wild. Two level 26 herdiers with workups and takedowns. These things will go bananas on someone. Okay. And also, Charon is mostly useless, if we're being honest with ourselves. That oh, I forgot! It's I have to work with Charon. So I didn't, uh, I led with the, well, I guess that doesn't matter. I led with the right one. Brick Break the Herdier. Uh, of course we go for different ones, because why would we ever go for the same one? My only hope. Like, why wouldn't, why wouldn't Charon use frickin' Fake Out? Why? Is that not the automatic move here? The nice thing is, is I should be able to kill that second one. Just go for the main one. Thank you. At least you're going for the correct one on that one. Come on, don't double up into me. Ooh, that's a lot of damage. Woo, hello. Nice, good avoid! Got him! That's one down, baby! Okay, that first one did 30 damage. Um, okay. We just need to get this other one. Which has gotten what? One work up and a miss in? <sighs> just don't get crit. Don't get crit. Don't get crit. Come on. Or go for the leap hard. Ooh, nice crit! Come on. Thank you! Woo! Wow! Shout out to that leap hard surviving on one. Holy cow, not that it mattered. But, dang. All right. Sometimes it happens to Charon, too, I guess. We beat the evil preschoolers. Barely-ish. <laughs> feels like barely. That feels like a fight that is literally designed in a way, at least for, like, not designed for Nuzlocks, because uh, Pokemon doesn't like, doesn't like Nuzlocks, apparently. But designed, and then when you play as a Nuzlocke, 
that fight is designed to just kill one to two of your Pokemon. That is like all it exists for. Um, that fight is ugh, nightmares. We got one. Ducky! All right, we got ourselves a ducklet. Got him. Ducklet, welcome to the squad. We have a kingly name ready for you, sir. Everybody, may I introduce you to Pecking, King of the Ducks. Okay, never mind, we don't face him. You love it. Okay. So we're gonna use Repel Strats. We got a level 23 in front, which means we can get a guaranteed Vanillite if we use a Super Repel. So we're gonna use that and then hopefully, we're gonna just get a Vanillite right away. We'll get this item in the meantime. Yeah, uh, Repel Strats. Basically, if you're using a Repel, you can't encounter a Pokemon lower a, at a level lower than your lead. Um, and so because our lead is 23, the only viable encounter is Vanillite, which this will be amazing. Because we can guarantee ourselves the Cub Chew later on, and Vanillite would be nice as a uh, hail setter. So that would be cool. That would be cool. All right. <laughs> In the most appropriate uh, Pokemon to be naming after this nickname theme. What food does Vanillite remind you of? All right, we're going soft serve. Okay, we should have our super repel up still. Boomgus. Guaranteed. Okay, so assuming we get this, we can get a guaranteed Cub Chew in the next place in the net one of the next routes and then that can get us a guaranteed woo bat and twist mountain all right andrew i think i just found whatever's in the back of my throat i think i got it nope still there very annoying all right let's give this mushroom a nickname Okay, it's female. I think I know what it's going to be. Portabella. P-O-R-T-A-B-E-L-L-A. -L -L -A. Portabella. Docile. Neutral. Okay, that's fine. I can live with that. For my protection. Use protection. Use Rocky Helmet. Silly Billy. Okay. Now, so we got the Rocky Helmet. Oh, uh, that's nice. Um, God, this duck is just gonna roll, steamroll through like everyone here. Okay. Let's go, cold storage. <laughs> 